Right, so we have clouds over the area. Winston-Salem looking pretty overcast over the region right now. Not terribly wet. We've got some scattered showers across our western counties trying to get a foothold, but uh, I think really uh, looking fairly dry for the rest of the day. We'll start to see some shower chances increase a little bit later on today. Uh, so far, so good. A few sprinkles up in Boone early morning. A wide view of the radar first kind of shows you what we're looking at here. Uh, the chance for rain again, pretty substantial across the Midwestern states. A lot of the rain over Tennessee and Kentucky is lifting to the Northeast. We're going to miss out. We've been talking talked about this all morning long. The fact that the early rains are going to miss out moving to the Ohio Valley and eventually the mid-Atlantic region. We've got some light and scattered showers across the south as well. Rainfall is something we have not been short on so far. February rainfall to date over five inches. That's four inches plus more than normal. Wettest start to February ever with nearly five times our normal rainfall during that period of time. Uh, if you tack on uh, January's rains, we've over 10 inches. It's happened only one other time back in 1936, 84 years ago. So it's the second wettest start ever and we're only two one hundredths of an inch uh, behind that pace and will likely surpass their rainfall once we get past Thursday. Uh, some clouds are pretty heavy over the area. Spotty showers, northern Georgia moving through Tennessee. Much wetter in the other side of the mountains. Uh, it's this area of rain that will start to move in uh, later uh, tonight, early tomorrow especially. It'll be followed by a cool down that really starts to take hold later in the day tomorrow. You can see that area of warm air is starting to shrink uh, while we're at 66 in Atlanta. We've been holding steady at 50 degrees in the Piedmont Triad with the cloudy skies and the better part of an easterly, northeasterly wind for much of the morning now into the afternoon. Temperatures in the 40s in the mountains, 72 currently in Columbia and some upper 50s near the coast where it's uh, we got a little bit of rain around anyway. Temperatures low to mid 50s right now with mid 40s out west locally. Very little movement since early this morning. We expect more uh, the same as we head into the afternoon. Uh, conditions are again looking a little wetter as we head into the uh, evening and overnight hours. Temperatures will actually rise this evening into the overnight and uh, average temperatures will be pretty close to 60, I think, by early tomorrow morning. Now, with a better rain chance farther west, I think the temperatures will be a little bit cooler, still warmer than they will be this evening. Uh, Mid-50s in the foothills with excellent rain chances and a stronger southwest wind in the mountains, taking temperatures about 10 degrees, up about 10 degrees tonight. So other than some spotty coverage of rain through the afternoon, we'll have better rain chance this evening and tonight. And then the front starts to track through the area during the afternoon hours tomorrow, morning into the afternoon. That could bring a few storms that could produce some damaging wind gusts. Uh, rain should pull away after that. Then our temperatures cool down into the 30s by Friday morning. A chilly Valentine's Day and start to the weekend. In fact, it gets down to 23 early Saturday.